Sunday is the last day for early voting in Ohio before the polls open on Tuesday. To keep us informed on how everything's going so far, Ohio's man in charge of elections this afternoon stopped in Youngstown. Here's First News Weekend anchor Kristen McFarland. The Mahoning County Board of Elections was filled with early voters Friday evening. Both parties are always excited to see high turnout. We, we want to make sure that every Ohioan has their chance to make their voice heard. At last count, Secretary of State Frank LaRose says between absentee ballots that have been returned and in-person early voting, nearly 700,000 Ohioans have already cast their vote. Absentee ballots must be mailed out by Monday or dropped off at the Board of Elections by Tuesday evening at 7.30. It's too late to request an absentee ballot at this point, but if you are sitting on one, if it's, th if it's there on your kitchen table or sitting on the counter, it's time to get it in. Early voting will continue this weekend, Saturday from 8 to 4 and Sunday from 1 to 5. There is no early voting on Monday. Just a reminder for anyone who plans to vote, you must bring a verified form of identification to the polls, and if you don't, you will not be able to vote. Bring your photo ID, state ID, driver's license, military ID, passport. There's a whole list on our website at voteohio.gov. LaRose says young voters have a lot at stake. It's the decisions that are going to be made at the local level and, of course, statewide issues like issue one and issue two that will impact them for so much longer. He also stressed the importance of voting for local officials. What matters more than who lives in the White House probably in your day-to-day -day life is who works at the courthouse, who works at the schoolhouse, who works at City Hall. Voting on Election Day will go from 7 in the morning to 8 at night. Thank the people behind the counter that are working to help run your elections. These are our neighbors. Uh, one Republican, one Democrat working together and a bipartisan team. In Mahoning County, Kristen McFarland, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.